Hello everyone. This problem has been asked in GATE 2021 and it is of one mark. It is asked in GATE 2021 and it is of one mark. This problem is from the basic analog circuits or you can say that some uh, uh, someone may refer to it power tone scores also. This problem says that in the circuit shown below here, the input VI is the sinusoidal AC voltage. Having an RMS value of 230 plus minus 20 percent volt tolerance band is also given. The worst case peak inverse voltage seen across any diode is. We have to find the peak inverse voltage seen across the diode for the given circuit. And the answer should be rounded up to two decimal places. So for the detailed concept about this rectifier part, kindly refer this NPTEL course, lecture number four rectifier, and the course name is Electronics for Analog Signal Processing by Professor K. Radhakrishna Rao, Department of Dawali, IIT Madras. And the link for this uh, video is given here. Now, before we solve this problem, let us see the concept and let us see the summary for the rectifier part and the peak inverse voltage. The maximum voltage across a reverse wire steroid is known as peak inverse voltage. We know that diode can having, having two types of biasing. First one is forward bias and the second one is reverse biasing. So in forward biasing, we apply positive terminal to the anode, positive terminal of supply to the anode while ingrid terminal is applied to the cathode of diode. While in reverse wise, just vice versa, positive terminal of supply is applied to the cathode while negative terminal of the supply is, is connected to the anode of the diode. So be in the, whenever the diode is in reverse wise, then at that point of time, we have to find the maximum voltage across the diode. And that maximum voltage, whenever the diode is in reverse wise, is known as peak inverse voltage, PIV. Now, we know that rectifiers, rectifier is basically of two types. First one is half wave rectifier and second one is full wave rectifier. And again, full wave rectifier is bifurcated to two types and that is one first one is center tap rectifier and second one is bridge rectifier so both these two below are full wave rectifier first one is center tap rectifier and second one is bridge rectifier now if we want to write the summary for the different characteristics of diodes we can write here that for half wave rectifier we require the number of diodes one and it increases by going down. For full wave rectifier, it is number of diode required is two, and for bridge rectifier, number of diode required is four. And similarly, we can find the average DC voltage for half wave rectifier. In comparison to full wave rectifier, it is lower value, and that value is Vmax divided pi. And for full wave rectifier, it is two Vmax divided by pi. And RMS current for half wave rectifier is IMX divided by 2 and for full wave rectifier it is IMX divided by root 2. And just for here we can see that if we want to calculate PIV peak inverse voltage for center tap rectifier it is two times of the other one like for half wave rectifier PIV is maximum voltage across the diode across maximum voltage uh, of supply we are applying that will occur across the diode that is PIV and for bridge rectifier it is also Vmax only for center tap rectifier it becomes 2 Vmax now let us solve this problem in this problem we are given with RMS voltage VRMS is given as 230 plus minus 
ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द टॉलरेंस वैल्यू गिवेन विद दिस एक्चुअल वैल्यू नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द ब्रस्ट केस the worst case the worst case piv seen across any diode is so here we can see that in the given problem this circuit is full wave bridge rectifier full wave bridge rectifier and piv peak inverse voltage for the full wave bridge rectifier is v max so we have to find the v max so v max is equal to root 2 times of max rms voltage since tolerance band is given so we have to take the maximum value of v rms maximum value of v rms so maximum value of v rms it will come as 230 plus 20% of 230 so if you simplify this then it will come as 390.32 volt 32 volt 390.32 volt that is the piv so correct option correct answer for this problem is 390.32 volt and it is numerical answer type question so we have to type the answer in integer value anomical uh, enumical value that's all